I don't. I can't make him choose. I don't. I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't want to make Chris actually choose. Can you guys like? Can you guys like? I don't know. Maneuver your body so that it just goes between the two of you. I don't want to do. I refuse to make this choice. Is both of the, are both of them gonna get killed if I don't do anything? Like, what if doing nothing? What? Wait, is this gonna go down the middle? I didn't even do anything. I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't make a choice. Wait, why is it going to Josh? Oh my gosh, Josh! Josh, no, 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 Josh! Oh, I'm so Josh, no, I'm so sorry. I I wanted to save. Wanted to save Josh. Wait, wait, wait. So wait a minute. So if I don't pick anyone, what was wait? What was the psycho's problem? If I didn't actually pull the lever, then he chose for me. What kind of experiment is that? So wait. If he, if I didn't pick, if I I verbally even said, I want to save Josh. I verbally, or I verbally said, I'm sorry, Ashley, which implied that I was going to save Josh. I verbally said that. So, if it was going to kill someone by default, why did it... I didn't pull the lever. So, if it was going to kill someone by default... I, I, I didn't pull the lever because I didn't... A, I didn't think Chris could actually make that choice. I don't think he actually could. I would think he would freeze. He would actually be able to choose to kill someone. Um... And I was hoping maybe by like no action, maybe you know, the whole like sometimes doing like no action is the right answer or the better answer. But it but it's like I didn't do anything, and instead of defaulting to saving the person I verbally was saying I was gonna save, it ended up killing Josh anyway? That doesn't make any sense. Chris said that he would save Josh, but then he didn't. Oh my goodness. Hey. What is wrong with oh, yeah, you, Psycho? Stop, stop, stop. Your experiment is flawed. Shh, stop, stop, please. Flawed. Come on, come on. My relationship with Ashley is gonna dip. I'm so sorry, Josh. I'm so sorry, Josh. Oh, Josh, I'm so sorry. I tried to save you. No! We gotta go, okay? <laughs> what is this? We're gonna have to have a talk about why I picked Josh over her. Chris! Ashley! What? what? Whose blood is that, Ash? Are you okay? Chris, what happened? Josh! Josh, what? Dude? You said Wait, not what? right in front of us, man. What are you there's, talking there's about? There's a maniac. Maniac? Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. I don't understand what happened. There's a maniac, and he was, there was a saw, and it was either him or Ash, and I, I don't know what oh to god. do. It come right through, man, spilling out fucking everywhere. What? Oh my god, Chris, what? And I, I killed him. What, I, I, I killed him. It, it was my fault, man. No, it wasn't your fault. Insane. You didn't Go pick anything. Him. No, Chris, I refuse. No, Chris, I refuse, game. That was not his fault. I even, he, he said he was going to save Josh, and then Josh died anyway. By him not... Even if he didn't pick... Even if he didn't pull the lever, by default. Not that I wanted Ashley to die. Of course I didn't want Ashley to die. But I... Like, that experiment was flawed, Mr. Psycho Man. Because he actually said he was going to save Josh, but then you killed Josh by default just because he didn't pull the lever. Was that punishment? Was that punishment for not actually following through with what Chris said? Is that why? Like, if you, if you didn't actually, like, pull the lever, then it didn't matter what you said. I was just going to kill the opposite of the person that you chose. Well, what if he didn't actually verbally say anything? What if he didn't actually choose? What if he just stood there and didn't say anything? It didn't seem like that machine was capable of... It didn't seem that the machine was capable of killing them both. That's the problem. It looked like that machine was not capable of killing them both if I didn't pick an answer. So why did the psycho decide for ourselves? The psycho decided to kill, to kill Josh, not Chris. 
the psycho did, which throws this entire experiment out of the out of the out of the window because the psycho is not supposed to be testing himself. He's supposed to be testing Chris. That's the whole point. That's why I'm really ticked off at that. I'm glad Ashley is alive, though. Matt, we need to go get help now. Don't blame yourself, Chris. That was not your fault. Chris, she's right. Psycho's experiment was flawed. Next, right? We just gotta go. Yeah, yeah, it's the only sane thing to do. We'll go get help. No, you just want to save yourself. No, I just don't want to make hasty decisions that get everyone killed. You can get everyone else together. Too late for me. Get help. With Matt, right? Alright. Okay. I think Ashley and I need to have a little talk about what just happened. Hello, Mr. Hill. Oh, the zombie's right over there. How nice. With the saw. Thank you. Yeah, oh look, there's more gore there. I love how you just keep adapting your place just for me. Yeah, you get comfortable. Hello again. Hello, Mr. Hill. Things are getting pretty tense up there, aren't they? Yeah, I know. We got two people Is died. It's going the way you hoped it would. It's going fine. No, it's not. And do you think that these poor people are getting what they deserve? No. No, why do you think that? You think these people are getting what they deserve? No. Why can't I answer your question? Why can't I tell him no? Why do I have to why do I have to answer his question with another question? Why can't I just tell him no? I don't think that they're getting what they deserve. Do you? Do you think they're getting what they deserve? Who are you? I'm trying to help you. That you didn't answer my question. This game you're playing. Mm-hmm. You understand that it's not good for you. It's not good for well, anyone. Well, that's why I didn't touch it for two years, sir. I can't say that you're being very charitable in the way you play. How so, sir? How am I not being charitable? My characters have been actually pretty darn charitable. I don't know what, what Let's Play you're watching, sir. Maybe you need to get your eyes checked, Doctor. Do you intend to continue with this elaborate self-indulgence? He's not really freaking me out. If anything, he's annoying me to no end. You're not freaking me out, sir. You're just annoying me at the moment. No, you're a game character. We already established this. Yeah, you don't exist. Oh. The heart of the problem, it all comes down to this. Can you really tell the difference anymore? You're a pixels on the screen, sir. There, I just broke the fourth wall. You see, now you made me break down the fourth wall. That's what happens when you come up with Sassy Hark. <sighs> this is not good. I'm sorry, Jess. Two kids. I lost two kids. That could be a lot of things. None of them nice. Quit it. I'm sorry, Josh. to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. Oh, you do this! Jessica! That wasn't his choice. Oh my god! Oh my god! Shit! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? The sanatorium on the mountain. Number five, Dread. Mikey. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. I haven't found very many totems. At what price? Man's best friend.
What the heck? Why aren't... Can't we just go back to the cabin? Jess, we weren't able to save. We can at least go back and Damn it. call the police. Or if not, call the police and leave. Dawn approaches, but it's not approaching fast enough. Right. Mike. Let's get a closer look. No, Mikey, no. Mikey, no, I don't want to do this. No, Mikey, stop being heroic. Mikey, like... Watching you wallow around in your wife beater is very hot right now, but no, I'm trying to keep you alive here, sir. <sighs> Mikey, why don't be a hero, please? Look, Mikey, I've made you not as brave. Look, Mike, you're not brave. You're very, very not brave right now. Stop acting like you're not brave. Stop acting like you're brave. You're clearly not brave right now. You would not be going over this wall. Come on, game, pay attention to your characters. Oh my goodness. There is no need to Scooby Gang this, Mike. Can we just move on to the next chapter so that you can stay alive for me, please? I kind of don't want you to die. Not that it's any of my choice. Well, it kind of, not a choice, more like a don't F up, Angel Arts. Probably a totem over here on the ground. This is what I need. Yeah, I believe it is. Fortune didn't really help me much last time. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Fortune didn't help Ash, didn't help Jess out. So I want him to stay outside. I want Matt to stay outside. Let's take a look at the events from the past. Sometime after the prospectors came to mine this mountain, until a cave-in tra trapped them, and then went insane with gore. Driven mad. Yeah, I know. I grasp beyond my reach. A year ago. I was finally able to get him in. <sighs> Mikey. Deemed unlawful for any person to use or occupy the structure forthwith. Date June 12th, 1954. Condemned. I don't think the front door is going to work. Oh, okay. I was surprised that actually worked. There's something behind you, Mikey. The dogs pulled her? Or the dogs the one that killed Jess? All right, now I can shoot that guy. Why are you going towards the person that killed Jess right now? Without a weapon. Mike, you don't have a weapon on you. Why are you going after this guy? Come on, man. Are you trying to get yourself killed? I'm trying to keep you and your sexy hiney alive. I 
I know I saw something glowing back around here. Memorandum, date 4th, January 4th. They just forced them all out. 1952. To sanatorium's staff from Mr. Roche. Rescue of minors. Be advised that the minor rescue is due to be completed tomorrow, January 5th, as the number of surviving minors is unknown. Prepare all beds in Ward A. The press shall be in attendance tomorrow. We must, not, we must be seen to be giving the minors the best possible care. Note that press visitors are not to be allowed in the psych, into the psychiatric ward. Failure in this re regard would reflect badly upon Mr. Bragg and the sanatorium as a whole, and shall result in the on-spot dismissal. Where do I want to go? I don't know if I want to necessarily go this way versus the other way. Can I choose not to go this way? Okay, well, I guess I'm going this way now. I can't go back up now. Great. Great. Now I just trapped myself. This was not a good idea. Probably missed a whole bunch of things up above by doing this. I can go back. I see. Okay. Okay. I can't go back down that way. Okay. Can I go back to the window? Guess not. Back in here again. Okay. All right. Probably not doing this in the most systematic way, but admin. Look at that. The Blackwood Pine Sanatorium, open 1922. Mensana in Sano. The mind and body and soul. I don't remember my Latin as well. This place 
This is huge. Alright, I'm gonna check that out after I completely examine the place outside. I want to examine this area first. Start down and work my way up. Sounds like a good bet to me. Damn it. Come on, Mike. was back over here. Is it another totem? Please tell me it's another totem. It is. Oops. Which one is it? Is it another warning? It's a warning. Oh my gosh, I don't know who that is. Loss. I don't know who that is. Look at all the ones we've been missing. Gosh, is that Mike? It doesn't look like it's Mike. It looks like it's Matt. That's Matt's jacket. Yeah, that's Matt's jacket. Why isn't that the death one? Like, it's like, it's like, it's like, they're cheating because, like, there's the death totem, but then the danger is also death. The loss is also death. <laughs> it's like, there's three death, there's three death totems. Why, they, they might as well just had three death totems, not worry about this nonsense of having, oh, this is, this is not the death totem, this is the lost totem. Oh, this is not another death totem. This is the, whatever that is. This is the, the warning totem. Right. Right game. Just keep telling yourself that. Oh, Mikey. I am going to say though, I, as shocked as I am, I really am genuinely enjoying this game. Um, it definitely is a struggle for me to play because of, again, the scariness, still not a fan of it. Not a big fan of the scariness. But everything else is very engrossing. I like that all of my choices matter. I like that, you know, they're giving us time to try to get to know these characters more and to try to earn our attachment so that when they do die there's actually some sort of payoff for it and it's again it's not just oh okay that person's dead now so I'm kind of bummed by but I'm still bummed over Josh and I feel like I can't protect anyone I haven't been able to I feel like I haven't been able to successfully protect any kid and it's annoying Different. I think my favorite characters right now are Chris, in no particular order, Chris, Sam, Ashley, Mike. I think those are my four favorites. And I'm trying to keep them alive as much as possible, but my track record is not doing so well. And I don't know if certain characters end up um, having an easier time surviving if other characters survive, you know? Like if there's, if you were able to, let's, let's say if you, if you were able to save, um, Jess, then by extension, does that mean that Mike would be, Jess would be with Mike and therefore the two of them would have an easier time surviving this together? I don't know. That would be really interesting though. Let's 
Scooby Gang wants to. Good job. Clocking in cards. Yeah, look at that. Clocking in mine cards. Why are they all in a safe? Are there rats in here? Rats are sort of like the least of my worries right now. How about we don't go there yet? We're gonna go to the morgue last. Or we're gonna go to the morgue next. Camera. Broken camera. It doesn't have any dust on it, and that's what worries me. Like it was placed there recently, because it doesn't have any dirt on it. This place is huge. The Alberta Post, 9th January 1952, reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Blackwood Pines AB, a reporter from the Alberta Bugle was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at the Blackwood Sanatorium. Chuck Bernstein, a, news, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the miners dramatically rescued, rescued on Tuesday. The men had been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse at the Northwest Mine in December and are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and trauma. Jefferson Bragg, sole proprietor of both the Northwest Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, told the Bugle yesterday that the incident was unfortunate, and a full internal inquiry has been launched. He also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on sanatorium grounds without permission. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which is confiscated immediately prior to the attack. Camera? It's all interesting, but I still don't know what the miners back in the 1950s the strange psycho guy, the twins, the Washington twins, and pretty much everything else has to do with anything with each other. And the Indians, too. Like, the, the stuff with the Indians. I don't know what, what, how that all gets tied in together. Oh, Mikey. Oh, boy, now we get to go to the morgue. Oh, goody. <sighs> this is exactly what I wanted to do with my life right now. Mikey, at this point, I would have just turned around and went back to my friends to tell them what happened to Jess. That's what you should be doing, Mike. 